Hello everyone, Michael Kerr here, Humor at Work. I'm down in beautiful Dallas, Texas, in Bedford, Texas to be exact, and with me today is uh, somebody who I'm, I'm a big fan of, the founder and CEO of Barrel, and the author of a book that I've recommended to you before, Why Is Everyone Smiling? So I am here at the Barrel headquarters where in fact everybody is smiling. Paul, how, how important is culture here at Barrel? Culture is everything, and every company has culture. But I think what's important is the fact that we have a positive culture and a culture that influences our business results. And you obviously have a very uh, fun culture. You're known for your creativity, your energy, uh, your, your fun. So how important is it here to, as part of your culture to have a lot of fun at work? It's, it's very important. Culture encompasses lots of things. But first it starts with a spirit of camaraderie, having fun at work. Multiple ways to have fun. But we do everything from dress-up days and crazy hat days to special events where we bring in families into the workplace um, to our gong show, crazy videos, everything that we can think of to take a little bit of the stress away from our work. We're in a business, uh, if you strip away everything we do, that's a call center business, a business fraught with a reputation for low morale, high attrition, low margins. And we said, we're not going to be a business like that. We're going to be a business where people get up every day and want to go to work and love what they do. And the first way to do that is to have some levity, create smiles, and make sure people are having fun. And, and you're a big believer in traditions here, are you not? So, so you, you mentioned some of the traditions you do. You have the gong show. You do, and yeah. now I know you, even personally, as the CEO, you've done some pretty outrageous things, haven't you? Well, as a leader, we have to get out of our comfort zone. And I'm an introvert by design. And so for me to get out there and participate and do some of these things didn't necessarily come natural. Even me going out and walking around the floor and, and spending time with people um, wasn't something that I, that I did all the time. And I knew that I had to get out of my comfort zone. And now we go to all extremes. For example, every year at our holiday party, we do a 10 to 15 minute video where me and the COO and several other people on the staff do something crazy and irreverent just to lighten the load and let everybody know we're just like them. So we have to walk the talk just like everyone else. And, and it's interesting that you say that because I get this question a lot from senior managers, executive people who say, but, but I don't have a natural sort of extroverted personality. I don't have a crazy sense of humor. Yet you've still managed to, to create this culture here. That's right. And that's something that um, it doesn't just come from me. It starts with me and I set the tone. And all I'm doing is empowering and enabling people what they like to do themselves. And so you have people that participate in a big way in the culture. We have a, a whole culture committee called the Better Barrel Bureau, which has subcommittees and people that can follow their passions, whether it's around creating events or it's how to celebrate and recognize people, or how we get involved in the community. There's multiple ways to get people involved in the culture. Well, I did, I did um, dress up once as a matador, and it took me three hours to get in that outfit to be prepared for a, a cover story for Inc. Magazine on fun in the workplace. Okay. And, uh, and so, you know, you just do what you have to do. And, um, and the fact is that while I'm happy to be the poster child for a practitioner who's leading an employee-focused culture. Um, the serious part is that it's not only the right thing to do, but it's good for business. And I think what we need to do is to tell people that these are tools that, yes, will uh, allow people to be happier at what they do, but it will also allow the senior managers and leadership to realize that this is the key to growing our business. And that's the message that I want to get across. Paul, thank you so much for your time. Check out, if you haven't, check out his book, Why Is Everyone Smiling? There's great insights in here, great ideas about building a great people-focused, fun, inspiring culture. And you can order the book. Uh, the website is right here. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much.